Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf outside of the driving range today at Les Bolstad Golf Course with Jake Montgomery. Jake is the fitting manager at Minneapolis. Um, Jake, I always, it's, that's what I like sometimes when you join because you're taller than me and it makes me look shorter. Uh, <laughs> I can squat down if you like. Yeah, head to head comparison today. Um, we've been kind of doing some of these videos today on, on, or filming some of these today on long game. And today mm -hmm. we got this one here, Ping G430 Max 5 wood yep. against a Ping I crossover three iron. So. Mm -hmm. Um, two different clubs, uh, two options golfers have at the top of the bag. For me, the I crossover is a transition from my four iron to my three wood. Um, but that's obviously just one of many options. You could have a standard three iron, you could have a three hybrid, you could also have a five wood. So talk to me about these two options and what the big differences are going to be. Yeah. So for a higher ball speed player like yourself, this driving iron is a great option. It's going to keep your ball a little bit more flighted. You're going to control spin better. Oftentimes, you're able to shape this a lot better hitting a draw or a cut kind of more on demand. If you want something that's going to help you get the ball up in the air and get it stopping faster, 5-wood is a great option. Myself, I use kind of a 7-wood in that gap okay. there. It lets me hit something real high, drop it in steep, and stop it fast. That's really kind of where you want this club to be, something you can hit off the tee if you like, but still give you stopping power or control at a longer distance when you're attacking those par 5s. Um, fairway woods, longer shaft, you're able to swing them faster. They kind of help you get more of that ball speed. Lower center of gravity, it's also further back, launches higher, a little more spin, and then a shallower face on there as well makes it a bit more forgiving in a longer club. Yeah, and then yeah, it, it kind of almost, but this, we should also talk about the decision that it comes down to and like how you're going to use the club. For too. sure. Because um, I know I use mine a lot off the tee, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of players that, you know, if you're going to use it more off the turf, say, right, you want that shallower face like this to Absolutely. help the ball get in the air. Uh, off the tee, that's not as much of a, you know, a, a big point, I guess, for no. a lot of golfers. So. We're going to do today, we've got TrackMan out here, mm -hmm. and um, Jake, you're going to hit some shots for us. We're going to compare the differences. Um, do you think it'll be a pretty stark difference in between the two? Yeah, I think for myself personally, I think that five was going to go a heck of a lot further. I'm not quite as fast as some other players. That's why I use a fairway wood over a traditional driving iron. Biggest thing for me is I think ball speeds won't be too terribly far off, but the height and the carry is really where it's going to, I think we'll see the five would work yeah. better for me. It's just going to stay in the air for a longer period of time. Gotcha. Well, let's, uh, let's hit some shots and find out. Absolutely. All right, so we're starting with the eye crossover. Mm -hmm. um, so, you, do you have you hit a lot of driving irons before? I guess what's the kind of confidence level you have with? Yes, yeah, so, I mean I've had a driving one. iron in the bag in the past, and I've loved it off the tee. I mean, it just for me is just a low bullet. Um, it roll out a long way, but it, it's kind of one dimensional. If I was trying right. to attack a green, I pretty much had to plan on landing it short and letting it and roll up. up. Yeah. That's why I've kind of switched more into a fairy wood now. It just lets me attack greens a little bit better. But I mean, I am definitely familiar with the concept. Okay, yeah, let's see what happens here. Wow. All right, just a little push there. Pretty solid. So, and we should clarify too, the I crossover is at 18 and a half degrees. Yep. The G430 Max is at 18. So, yes. close but not identical in loft mm -hmm. right now. Interesting there. 49 44 spin. That's actually kind of a lot. Yeah, yeah. But um, we got a few more swings, obviously. Yep. That one's ripped too. That was hit pretty well. Talk on the feel. Mm -hmm. So does it feel like an iron or does it feel say, a little bit like a It kind of feels hybrid? like kind of right in between. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, swing-wise, obviously, it feels a lot more like an iron, but off the face, it definitely does feel a bit more forgiving like a traditional hybrid. Yeah. Feels okay. hollower, but not in a bad way. Yeah, okay. I mean, that, I mean yeah, in, in a sense, it should feel that way, right? Yep. Just kind of how it's built. That one did stay under 4,000 spin, 230 okay. carry. All right, yeah. Another good ball there. I like that so far. Yeah. Around the same carry. Yep, so that one was 145 ball speed. The spin went up again a little bit on that one, so it was about 220 on the carry. Okay. And your club speed, we should note too, I, and we've been doing some testing this morning already yeah. with some other things, so I, you're gonna swing this not quite as fast. For sure. As the fairy would, just yeah. weight plus length of the shaft 100%. is gonna be different and change that, so. A little heavy there. Okay. Okay. Spin did knock down, so it's at 3,700. Okay. 216 on the carry there. Gotcha. Hit well? Yeah. 
Yeah, one five zero smash. That's yeah. that's hit pretty well. Those balls All right, so we that. got five good ones out there. The spin did go up a little bit there again, mm -hmm. forty seven seventy. Yeah. So, let's see here. Get some numbers for you. On average, we've mm -hmm. got five good swings out there. The club speed was ninety seven point four. So I was done. We've done some testing this morning, and we're going to hit the five wood here. You were swinging yep. five woods over a hundred. Yeah. So that'll be a big piece of things here mm -hmm. as well. Um, smash factor one four seven. The spin rate was 44, 42. So it's yeah. plenty of spin. Yeah, for sure. Um, in some cases, it could be even too much depending yeah. on you know what your purpose is with that club. Mm -hmm. um, so the carry total or carry average was 220, total 234. Okay. So is that kind of maybe I a mean, little... that's about what I'd expect when yeah. I try these clubs here. My biggest problem with them is I don't generally get the carry that I want to see out of them. Yeah. What was my peak height on that? Is it peak sub 100? Peak height, I'm gonna scroll over here, is 89. Yeah. So a little lower than you're hoping yep. for, I imagine. Okay, yeah, and then other numbers here. Uh, you know, we talked about uh, landing angle before. This mm -hmm. is 41 degrees. Okay, so I mean, that's not awful, but still, high, yeah. I know you're that's probably going to be a lot steeper with the G430 sure. Max. Yep. So that's kind of the reason that you play very wood. These are again, we're talking mm -hmm. as if we know exactly what's going to happen, and we kind of, I think we do, we feel yeah. pretty good about it. So, mm -hmm. unless something shocking happens, yeah. we're going to have you know a, a much higher ball flight and probably a farther distance with the G430 Max. For you sure. think? Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's find out here. Awesome. All right, so the G430 Max, obviously mm -hmm. a completely different look here. For sure. Um, but you've you've commented before that you like the way those those look and set up for you. Yeah, they, they look very easy to hit for me. I'm a big fan of a shallower face in a fairway. I like the scoring lines. It feels very easy to set up square to target. It rests very kind of neutral on the ground for me. Okay. And... That's why I play a fairway one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is going to be kind of a joke into the dispersion here, yeah. I think. All right, 49, 28 spin, 230 carry. Okay, it's yeah. not outrageous. Not crazy, we got a lot of spin there. Again, yeah. we are using these range balls that, as we've kind of come to find out, mm -hmm. they spin a little bit more, yep. launch a little bit higher than sort of a premium ball you'll see in the bay. So sure. numbers are a little bit skewed in that way, but 49, 28 on the spin there. So yeah. 230 total. That I got high. really high. That's high. I honestly might have swung up on that ball. Um, it's got you a minus 0.6, so pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Another good one there. That one I caught a little necky. I'm curious to see what happens on that one here as the numbers. Okay, that's fascinating. So you know if you didn't catch that no. as good as you wanted but it's the furthest one you fit so far interesting because the spin went down yeah, to mid 3500 so it actually carried 240 gotcha. it's obviously a little bit left um, but still uh, surprising forgiveness there yeah so let's absolutely. get one more shot here yeah and these fairy woods are definitely a lot more forgiving than the yes. driving iron oh yeah there we go you even got a little bit of a penetrating flight there on that one yeah it was a little lower all right, so the G430 Max, that one, I mean, and you just kind of have a little more confidence with the G430 for sure. Max, right? 100%. I mean, just a bigger club head, a little bit more inviting for you. Yep. Um, all right, so let's look at some numbers here. Again, so your dispersion is actually really good with the G430 Max, aside from that one that kind of went a little bit farther left. Yep. Really tight uh, grouping there versus a little bit wider and larger, and even it's still a good dispersion with the eye crossover, just a little bit tighter with those four shots yep. with the G430 Max. And uh, I'm going to bring up some numbers here. So we're looking at a club speed difference of about five miles an hour. Yeah, so you I mean, swung the G430 Max five miles an hour faster. That's because it's a little bit lighter. Yep, and longer. Of the, you know, the swing weight, longer shaft. That's mm -hmm. going to generate more speed just naturally. Yep. Uh, the ball speed, 151.8 versus 143.1. So sure. about eight miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Smash factor, pretty close, 1.47, 1.48. So still very efficient with the eye crossover, yeah. just not quite um, matching the G430 Max. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, spin is very close. 44-42 hmm. with the I crossover, 45-56 with the G430 Max. Gotcha. So that is more surprising spin. to me. Um, so, and again, uh, we've, we've mentioned the golf balls piece. Um, mm -hmm. That might be, it's part of why it's maybe in the mid 4000s, but still it's yep. very close. Yeah. Um, the difference, however, with that just longer club and uh, the launch as well is gonna give you 14 more carry yards. Mm -hmm and a total of t uh, 11, 12 more total yards. So 233.3 carry with the G430 Max, 246 total. Yeah, that's kind of um, what I expected to see for myself. I mean, 
I know that a driving iron for me with where my club head speed is right now just isn't the best option. If I was swinging faster, it would get to a point where the five wood would almost be going too far. You have to rein it back in oftentimes with that driving iron. And that's where when we're doing kind of a gapping analysis, we're yeah. oftentimes saying we might need to bring this back a little bit. And if we loft up this fairway wood, spin can get to the point where we're hitting it 140 feet in the air. And then if you play on a windy day like this, you're going to have no right. control of where your ball is going. So that driving iron can oftentimes control flight, control distance a little bit better. That's why it's just so important to come in and get fit for this long game area. Because yeah. the way that everyone kind of sets their bag from four iron through driver is different. Yeah. And that's, this is a, it's a great point there. Cause it's, it's all about what the kind of ball flight you're looking for, or maybe what you need based on your tendencies already. Yes. Another key part of this too, that I think it maybe goes unnoticed and certainly something that I kind of was on, was on the back burner of sort of what I was thinking, but is the difference in the build and the length of the shaft and everything, that extra element of swing speed does make such a difference. A huge difference. It can make a, in this case, you know, that was a large part from what I'm interpreting by the numbers here of the distance being a 14 yard difference in carry absolutely because your spin rate was the same spin rate was exactly the same your launch angle was 10.6 to 10.7 yeah so 10.6 10.7 launch so it's launching basically the same way mm -hmm. uh you were just slightly more a efficient barely with the g430 max yep. but really the swing speed was kind of generating that more that higher peak height of 104 versus 89 For sure um because everything else is pretty similar i mean even the the consistency on the spin rates was around 500 on that sort of deviation mm -hmm. number with both so it's a pretty you know, again, just a little bit longer build gives you that higher height. And then yep. of course, with that a little bit extra distance as well for a lot of players can gap things a little bit mm -hmm. better. So um, anything else that you wanted to mention from this test? Otherwise it's kind of a good indication of what the difference is in these types of clubs. Yeah, I mean, I would say this just really goes to show there are so many options to kind of achieve the ball flight, the spin rates, the carries that you're looking for in that 200 to 270 range. Um, this is where you can take a lot of strokes after game, especially on yep. par fives, getting that approach shot in and getting yourself on the green or close. So I just can't stress it enough. Come in and get fit for fairway woods, driving irons, hybrids. See what build works best for you. Absolutely. I can't really say it any better than Jake just did. So golfer, schedule that fitting. Uh, Jake, thank you for your insight today and all the shots. No problem.